Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some watercolors that I just received from the online store Grabby or Graby. However, I'm not sure which is the correct way to pronounce it. I've heard it both ways. But I'm going to say Graby. It just has, sounds a little bit more fancy. <laughs> so I got these from Graby and I had worked with them before. They had sent me a metallic set of watercolors about a year ago and they were really nice to work with. They did let me pick out this particular set from their store. I have done already a swatching of these paints. I did open them up already. And if you wanna see the quick uh, unboxing and swatching of these, you can go over onto my page and just look under shorts. It should be close to the top. And this is the box. The box says ocean color, glittery watercolor. Now, when I first swatched them, and even when I first looked at the paints online in their store itself, I was like, they don't seem like they're glittery. Like I was like, are they metallic? I don't think so. And they didn't look very glittery to me when I swatched them either. So but when I looked very, very closely after I swatched them and they dried, um, I can see a very faint amount of glitter in there. I don't know if maybe it's just because I just had used them um, you know, the top layer, maybe the glitter sinks down close to the bottom because it's heavier. Um, so we're going to try them out on a coloring page, I think, on a background. So I figured that's quick and easy to do. So we're going to try them out on a page, but let's take a look at the actual paints. This is like a travel type of case. So it's nice if you want to go outside, you could easily put this in a bag or in a purse, even throw some paintbrushes in there and you're good to go. Me personally, I'm, I'm not traveling anywhere. I'm staying home and painting. But if, if you were to want to go outside and maybe paint something out in nature or have a relaxing day painting outside, this is perfect for that. So these do have um, numbers on the swatch chart, but there is no any, there's no sort of identification on the actual paints themselves on the pants themselves. So if you do plan on getting this, I would either make sure you leave these in exactly the same spot you painted them in, into the swatched card on, or what I'm think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a black marker and just write numbers on them. That way, in case I wanna take them out or transfer them to a, a bigger palette or only take a few out or something, I'll be able to reference the color swatch chart and know what the color is. I thought it was really nice that it came with a swatch card. It's nice watercolor cardstock paper. So, and I also like that it fits right on top of the lid. So you can just take it out and look at the colors and it fits nice back into this little cardboard sleeve. All right, so let's take a look at the page we're gonna be working on today. I picked this one out from the Etsy shop it's called Victoria Virginia Art. It's kind of like a surrealist kind of style she does. So I thought this one would be cute for us to try. It has a nice empty spaces back here for the background. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep this page by gluing it to some watercolor paper. I'm gonna apply a few layers of gesso. And I wanna do like a really, really wet on wet background with these paints. And I wanna do some throw some salt and some alcohol into the mix too to get a nice grungy distress type of background. So we'll see how they do with all those elements. So we're gonna jump right into it and then we'll come back and talk about these paints some more.
So we did a little speed painting in that last little segment. I did finish this up off camera since we are focusing on the paints for this video. I colored in the octopus girl here. I did a layer of alcohol markers uh, and then I just colored a few layers of Prismacolors on top. The same thing with the fish. And I also added some distress stickles to the bottom. I was trying to make it look a little more like sand on the bottom here. So as for the glitter, the glitteriness of these paints, once they were dry, I I can see some glitter. It's very subtle amount of glitter. I don't know if you can see it on camera even, because it's a very subtle, tiny particles of glitter that's that are in this paint. But it is glittery, so if you're looking for like a more in-your-face metallic sort of paint, that's not what these are. These are very pretty, a very pretty subtle glitter, which I do like because I don't think I have any other watercolor paints like that. So I thought they mixed really well together. The colors went really well together. And these colors I think are perfect for underwater or even a night sky would be really pretty with these colors, like a Northern Lights type of um, background would be really nice with these colors as well. So you don't have to be tied down to just because it's called an ocean. Ocean colors doesn't mean you have to only use it on ocean themed pages or artworks. I really do love the colors. I thought that's what I was attracted to when I first picked this set out to try. They're almost like a muted jewel tone colors, which I think is really a unique set of colors in a palette to get. I do have a 15% off coupon code you guys can use on this set or anything else in the gravy store, and it's Crystal 15. They have a really nice variety of all different kinds of art supplies with a special focus on beginners. I will leave all the links and the code down below in the description box. They do often have a lot of different promos, rewards, and gift card giveaways going on, so make sure you follow them on social media if you want to stay updated. Any questions, just let me know, and I will do my best to get any answers for you. They do ship from China, so you will have to be a bit patient. From my experience, it seems to take about two weeks to get your package. So I think that's all I have for you today in this video. Until next time, I hope you all have a really great day. Happy coloring and painting, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.